Welcome. Bienvenue. Thank you. Merci beaucoup à l'Ambassade de France. Thank you to the French Embassy for hosting us tonight and for all our guests for coming here and spending your Saturday night with us. Um, I hope it is clear to everyone who is involved with Broad Futures or who has been touched by Broad Futures in some way that we strive to be incredibly intentional and sincere in everything we do. And so is it the case with our theme tonight, Building Bridges to the Future, which is an expression of our appreciation and gratitude to everyone who has helped us to build our organization to achieve the entrepreneurial success that we can stand here before you tonight, watching an idea turn into a proud moment of reality. You are all helping to build the bridges to the future for our organization, for our insureds to be successful, and for our employers to understand and embrace what an inclusive workforce looks like. Sometimes we are building footbridges, and sometimes we have to invest in uh, more heavy infrastructure of a suspension bridge. But the important thing is that we are all building and crossing those bridges together. One in five individuals in the United States has a learning disability. Only 45% of those individuals are employed. Only 41% complete college. 92% will have an income under $50,000 within eight years of graduating high school. But we know that individuals who think differently provide innovative and creative solutions. And we know our workforce depends on those benefits inherent in that proposition. Young adults with LD most assuredly represent an untapped labor pool. I'd like to highlight for you some of the features of our bridge that we're using to tap into that massive untapped labor pool. In just two short years, we've gone from serving five interns to 42. We've gone from three employer partners to 23 and growing. We're starting to do some um, in-service workshops at DC public charter schools, as well as serving an inspired group of brain cancer survivors, therefore enlarging the pool of who we serve. Interns who graduate from our program uniformly and on objective measure feel they are incredibly well prepared for the workforce. They also, most importantly, feel they've dramatically increased their self-confidence, their ability to self-advocate, and in my mind, most importantly, their hopes for their future. The majority, over two-thirds of our employers, actually hire our interns on in an extended capacity. This number is somewhat constricted by the fact that our, many of our interns return to school after the program. Our interns all following our program either return to school or go on to part-time or full-time work. Some of them do both. Our employers all acknowledge not only the significant um, financial benefit of having an intern on the bottom line, but also most importantly, that having a Broad Futures intern in their workforce helps them to understand and become more aware of the rewards of an inclusive workforce. So thank you tonight to all of our incredible sponsors and everyone for coming out here. You guys have made it possible for us to continue to expand our programs and to build these important bridges. Without you, we literally would not have a program. Thanks to our talented band, Suburban Legend, wherever they are. Um, <laughs> for bringing music to our mission, and they have done so much more for us than just singing for us. We are incredibly thankful. We're so thankful to Chairman Wheeler for graciously coming here tonight and accepting our Champion Award. 
and for your incredibly passionate commitment to enhancing the lives of individuals with disabilities. Thank you to our sustaining partners, those who do so anonymously, John and Susan Colby, the Hintz Family Foundation, T-Mobile, and Wiley Ryan, as well as our visionary partners, AT&T, CTIA, Diana and Larry Eisenstadt, Adriana and Andres Kluski, Loretta Polk and Bradley Holmes, Janet Keeney and Kathy and Peter Tenhola. We're equally grateful to the anonymous foundation that has given us our two-year incubation grant, as well as the HSC Foundation, who have both quietly provided us resources and support without which we wouldn't be able to run the five programs we've ran in the past two years. And a huge, huge shout out to our employer partners because I can honestly say there would, there would be no program without our internship placements. Um, I'm very happy to stand before you tonight and to say there are way too many of you for me to name you all, but we are so incredibly grateful for your commitment to our mission and your patience with everything that is involved with being a Broad Futures employer partner. I owe a debt of gratitude to my co-founders, Brad Holmes and Diana Eisenstadt, my incredibly inspired board and advisory board. And I'm equally grateful to our staff, Raymond Caldwell, Monica Churn, and Lori Thomas, who deliver our curriculum with exquisite talent and creativity. As I've said before, it's one thing to have an idea of what a program should look like. It's a very different thing to actually make it come to life and when it comes to life, to have it look like the vision that was in your head. Thank you to all of you. I'm also grateful for our program interns and mentors, some of whom are here tonight, who make the program run. Um, and finally, I want to thank our interns, who actually represent the most poignant example of our commitment to sincerity, you guys actually just amaze me with your courage, your drive, and the strides you make while you're in our program, and you continue to amaze me with the strides you make when you leave our program. We're gonna hear from some of them tonight, we're gonna have several shining examples of our interns. And to start us off is the incredible Morgan Ablon, who participated in our winter 2016 program. <laughs> 